What's going on everybody? This video is going to be on how Skimbo was tearing up Blocky's Nickel 335 Tampa 2, which is probably the most quote-unquote meta defense as of right now, definitely the most popular one with that aggressive pass rush, and he really did it out of the gun bunch week from the West Coast playbook using only one passing play, which was deep attack. He went 5 for 5 for 86 yards and a touchdown running only deep attack, and really throughout the game, he only called two different plays. It was deep attack or halfback draw. And so with those two plays, along with the whole game planning of going from the pistol, fake snapping to get Blocky to jump off guard, and then going ahead and audibling back to the gun bunch, which is another great thing about the West Coast playbook now that you can set audibles. Really, there's only like four plays out of the West Coast gun bunch week, probably five that you want to have access to at the line of scrimmage so you can go ahead and set you know dig hp out halfback draw in this case skimbo went with deep attack and like corner strike as your audibles other ones that you could consider would be like mesh and mesh post but the new audible system basically allowed for this strategy to become a reality so i thought that was pretty cool as well but right here getting into the video deep attack so pretty much the main route that skimbo was taking advantage of on deep attack was this backside post route and it's not like any other post route out of gun bunch it's similar to the like buck sale and pat sale play that has that backside post route but this one seems to be a little sharper in terms of it runs a little deeper and it's hard to explain in words but you'll kind of see it in practice here so what you're going to see on this first play is that blocky goes with the pretty standard tampa 2 setup where he blitzes six it's really common to blitz like five or six out of this formation. Skimbo goes with a max protect, so he picks up the blitz. And what you're going to see, why this route works, is the cloud flat on the left side passes off and gives the post route an inside release. So immediately, the cloud flat is out of the play. He's There's no way he can make a play on this ball that Skimbo is about to throw. And what Skimbo must have realized when preparing to face against this defense is if he throws this ball right as the receiver cuts and throws a low pass lead, that safety will not be able to make a play on the ball. And that's what you're going to see right here. Throws it with the low pass lead. Cooks comes in, actually almost scores a touchdown. But what I want you to notice here is how whenever the receiver cuts and Skimbo's throwing this pass, you see the low pass indicator. Notice how hard the safety bites, and he almost kind of over pursues a little bit. And that's actually what allows Skimbo's receiver, because of the low pass where the ball is put where only his receiver can catch it, it allows him to get good positioning on that safety because of the fact that he kind of over pursues biting down on it. And really, it was the cloud flat right there that made the diving tackle and save Skimbo from scoring a touchdown. But that was the main way that he was going about attacking the standard Tampa 2 setup from Blocky. Now, later in this game, Skimbo up 17-3 to midway through the third quarter now. And Skimbo, like I said, had been really attacking Blocky with mainly only that backside post route. So you're going to see how much resources Blocky allocates on this play to stopping the backside post route which opens up another passing concept that Skimbo came out with from this formation. So once again, you see Max Protect, you see Blocky's user actually on the right side of the field initially, but you see him peeling off to the left. Notice he has four defenders bracketing this post route. He's got the deep safety in the deep left half. He's got the flat zone, the cloud flat. He has a hook zone, and he has his user running over there. So four defenders allocating to that backside post route. Now, Skimbo actually goes with what's called an Ohio passing concept on the right side. And it's really simply just an outside fade followed with an out route underneath. In this case, it was gun bunch, so the fade wasn't all the way to the outside, and he used a zig route to kind of allow for that outside fade to clear out the defender even more. The zig is slower developing than the standard out route. And that's what you're going to see. This whole concept is built to basically, like a corner strike concept, put this flat zone defender in a situation where he either gets carried downfield by the fade route, in which case you can hit underneath with the zig, as you can see, is wide open right now. Or if Blocky puts him in a hard flat underneath, then in that case, the outside fade route opens up right behind him. So what you're going to see here, if we go ahead and run the play one more time, notice how much the cloud flat on the outside gets pulled out and pulled downfield by that fade route. He's backpedaling with the fade route, with the fade route, with the fade route, and by the time he notices the zig route underneath, he's way too far back to make a play. Skimbo realizes it, hits a spin move in the open field, ends up picking 15 yards for an easy first down. So that's just a case of him allocating 
or Blocky rather, having to allocate so many resources, it opens up his other passing concept that's actually on the strong side of the formation. So right here in the last example, later on that same drive, and you're just going to see another example of the cat and mouse game between Blocky and Skimbo. Blocky still trying to solve the puzzle of stopping that backside post out of this Tampa 2. And you're going to see the adjustment he decides to go for now is he's trying to man up this backside deep half safety onto that wide receiver running the post route to try and get him you know he's already has the inside position technically the wide receiver's running straight into him so you would hope that that safety with the already inside position on him would be able to keep up with the post route and blocky's going to go ahead and take away the zig route he notices the route combo again skimbo actually doesn't max protect this time and also sends his tight end out on a route so blocky actually had a good chance of getting some pressure but as you can see, the backside man-to-man -man assignment just not going to work. He still over-pursues on that post route. And on the break, Skimbo's still able to throw a bullet pass to the inside to Brandon Cooks. And he's just not going to work because notice how as soon as the ball snapped, the safety actually runs over. And so his momentum's carrying him over to the left side. So he, he's got to stop and basically readjust as soon as Brandon Cooks cuts on that route. He's just not able to do it fast enough. See how Brandon Cooks is cutting right now, and the safety is stationary. He's not moving, so uh, especially a receiver with the speed and agility of Cooks, he's going to get inside positioning every single time, and Skimbo's actually going to end up getting taken down at around the 7 or 8 yard line with Blocky's other defenders having to come over and end up making the tackle. So that was just three examples of how Skimbo and how this kind of escalated over the course of the game in terms of the cat and mouse. You saw the first play, Skimbo went low pass lead where he just had the cloud flat and then the deep half to worry about. Then the second play, Blocky then allocated four defenders to try and stop the post, which allowed Skimbo to open up to a much simpler but still very effective passing concept on the strong side of the gun bunch. And then you saw Blocky basically trying to make different adjustments from that deep half safety to try and slow down that post route so that Blocky could still use her underneath and use her the strong side passing concepts, and it just never really worked out. An idea would have been maybe Blocky could have done what Joke did against Deliverance, where you put that deep half safety into a middle third to try and get him better positioning over the middle of the field on that safety, or on the wide receiver running the post rather, but hindsight's 20-20. And there's really no guarantee that that even would have worked. Skimbo definitely looked like he had a plan, and he executed that plan to perfection throughout this game. So it was really cool to watch, and I can't wait for his matchup against Problem later today in the quarterfinals of the club championship. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys, take it easy.